Okay, hello guys. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening. So today, I'm going to share a little bit about the GCD because a lot of researcher or student came to my YouTube channel asking about galvanostatic charge discharge. So I'm going to share a little bit knowledge on the GCD to help you run your experiment. So first of all, you must understand in energy storage when we are talking about GCD, supercapacitor divided into EDLC, pseudo capacitor and also battery type. So the shape of GCD if EDLC you should get the triangle, very good triangle. If your material is pseudo capacitor, the triangle is only distorted. You can see the shape is distorted. And if you are studying supercapacitry, so battery type material, your GCD curve will have a play tube. So this is not uh, very clear. You can see the example here. Okay, this is the very good example, a play tube GCD. So you can observe this kind of shape. So first remember about the shape and your material. That's the first important thing. Okay, before we get the shape, so what we going to do, look at the GCD graph. I'm going to show you one, so hope you will understand. Okay, this is uh, the software. So now I'm using VersaStat, Versa Studio instead of Autolab Nova. So it's almost the same. So the important thing, the first thing you should know the current. So by knowing the current, you can include the value and run your experiment. But you cannot know the exact value of current. First, you must actually list down your possible potential window that you got. Not the possible. You should list down the possible current density that you want to study. For example, in this case, is one ampere gram, one ampere per gram. So normally in supercapacitor or supercapacitry, we are study one ampere per gram up to 10 ampere per gram. You can go lower to 0.5 ampere per gram or even higher to 20 ampere per gram. Depends on you. So you already set your current density in ampere per gram because current density is your current divided by mass. So it is a set value. You can set 1 ampere per gram, 2 ampere per gram until 6 ampere per gram or so on. Okay. Then by having the current density, how we can get the value of current? Okay, so the formula is current density ampere per gram current divided by mass. So mass, you know your mass of your electron mass. Okay, for example, my electron mass is 0 0.0016 gram. So I set the parameter is 1 ampere per gram. So that's why my current value is 0 0.0016. If I want to run for 2 ampere per gram, so the current value will be times 2, becomes 0 0.0032. So you can see the difference here. So by knowing your mass, by knowing your current density, you can get your the value of current. Then you can input your current. So that's the second step. First step, know your shape. The second step, know your current. What is your current by having the mass and also current density. Next is the potential window. So it depends on your cyclic voltammetry. If your cyclic voltammetry capable to achieve until 0.5 volt, so your GCD also should be capable to achieve 0.5 volt. So it is a compulsory. So let's look at the example. Okay. For example, you see this paper. Okay. This paper, the CV is from uh, negative from 0 to 1.2. You can see from the GCD is capable to achieve the maximum potential window, which is 1.2. So it is a compulsory. So bear in mind it should uh, closely goes to your potential window. Okay. Next, after you know your potential window, your GCD capable to achieve your potential window, what you need to set. Okay, uh, before I forget the current, you should set the charging current. 
and discharging current should be just negative that's all so just set the current value okay after that when you set everything you just run your experiment it will start charging and also it will be discharging depend on how many cycle it will show how many cycle in this case I put two cycle so two GCD graph will be appear so as you can see a small here small drop here we call that IR drop or voltage drop is happen when your material is not so good the IR drop will be bigger okay so I think uh, if you face a problem regarding a weird GCD shape uh, you should uh, go back to the basic so what's wrong in your experiment so if you follow the theory and the step by step you should get the shape that you want and so focus on the shape if you study the carbon based material you should almost get a triangle if pseudo capacitor the triangle is a little bit distorted and battery type you can get a plate tube Okay, this is most accurate example so i think that's all thank you very much if you have question please comment below okay bye